Hey guys, this is going to be a, a, a very large rambling shout out. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to catch up with, with uh, everything and everybody, so stick around, you're going to see a bunch of cool stuff. So we're starting off with uh, Project One. We got a box from him. My wife purchased the dwarves, and check these guys out. These are freaking incredibly cool. These, this particular regiment is my favorite in the red, and then we move on to the gray. This guy is the leader. There's the standard bearer. Then you've got all these guys in gray coats. Uh, kind of a neat uh, Lord of the Rings kind of uh, reference. Oh, banner guys backwards. Got uh, these guys are like a. a dark blue which look, looks really really sharp and we got uh, the war machine sprue um, let's see if I can get this in there's one sprue and here's a second sprue and we got all of these figures all this stuff for what was it 80 bucks $80, $80 man assembled painted and beautiful alright the second uh, second thing I want to talk about is Red Shirt Games. These guys are buddies of ours. We see them every year. We play Monster Mash with them. Th these guys are almost like family to us. We love them dearly. They're Canadians, which makes them cool by default. I've never met a Canadian I haven't loved. Uh, this is the Steel Warriors set. Uh, it's one of the games that uh, Sue and I play when we go, uh, Keep What You Kill, which we're horrible at. <laughs> this is a pretty rough, tough max. We, we try and kill each other, but we're not too good at it. Uh, why don't you turn the box around, honey? These are uh, some of the, the mechs, and uh, they have different arm uh, weapons load out. You can swap them out. If you blow a weapon off, you can pluck it right off and stick it back on. It's really cool. Um, now you can pop it open, baby girl. There's 30 of them. You get 30 of them, and there's five on a sprue. So they go from light to heavy mechs. And they're $20. And they're 20 bucks for 30 mechs. Let's see if I can do this where I'm, I'm doing them I justice. It, I think it's Canadian dollars, though. Uh, which must be pretty similar to American dollars, because that's uh, about what we paid. Mm -hmm. But uh, they're really nice figs. They come on hex bases. These are the backs. I mean, look at all that detail. It's just tons and tons and tons of detail. Really, really cool. Um, there's a game, uh, Metal Gear, that I think is roughly the same scale as this. Um, you want to show me the bases? So you can get like 30 like uh, equivalent mechs for your heavy gear game. Oh, if like you wanted yeah they're just awesome you don't even have to glue them just like she said so there's that and now you can take it baby girl and I want to uh, introduce you to yeah I'm over here honey <laughs> I'm pointing it all right here is my buddy Bill over at Black Knight Games uh, we had caught him at the last uh, convention, just had an incredible good time with him and Katz. He uh, sent me, uh, here's the fiber optics store. He's going to be selling these out of his store. And um, I remember somebody said that they wanted to see my... Uh, my, uh, is it here? Here it is. Remember this little guy? They said they wanted to see this in uh, LED lights. I don't know if I'll be able to pull that off, but I'm going to be doing something in LED lights. Um, he, uh, he wrote me a real quick letter, so I'm just going to read it real quick to you. It says, hey Bill, here's a circuit and fiber harness. The circuit is a pulse P55V with an adjustable fire rate. Just use a small screwdriver to adjust it. 
The fiber harness uses a, a warm white LED. Please mention the Fiber Optics store uh, if you do the review. So I, I did so. Uh, both items are seconds, but the regular price will be around $20 for the circuit and $10 for the fiber, op, fiber harness. Uh, looking forward to seeing what you can do uh, do up with them. Hope you like them. Bill at Black Knight Games. Bill, thank you so much. Uh, Bill also is working with Dr. Cranky on his burlesque uh, diorama. Um, I've been super busy. He did put a video up. I haven't seen it yet. I bet you it has to do with... with uh, with that light setup, and if you don't know Dr. Cranky, you need to know Dr. Cranky. He does some of the coolest uh, vehicles I've ever seen. They have almost this road warrior look about them. He's mastered rust. Like I, I feel like I've, with all the stone work I've done, I'm pretty much a master dark stone. Uh, Dr. Cranky has mastered rust, rust big time. Super nice guy. So uh, uh, here, let's show Black Knight Games. Here is, this is a store, am I correct? Yes. Okay, so Black Knight Game, uh, Game and Hobby online store. Um, and I think it's uh, BKG. Tube. Tube. Tube BKG. Okay, Tube BKG is his YouTube channel. And he's got the coolest dog. Because the dog's name is Rommel, a beautiful German Shepherd. And he has a cat that uh, lo loves to sit on the back of his seat. So go check out his videos. They're very informative. He's super nice, well-spoken guy. Um, and uh, can you tell I'm not really good at this? Um, okay, on to Modest Magic. Now... This is designed by City on a Hill. Can you bring up the hex? Okay, we're there. Let's go to the store. And at the store... By the way, big, big deal. He, uh, he adjusted his prices and shipping is now free. So that's big time. Uh, this is the hex system. These are machined to perfect height. Um, these pictures aren't doing it real justice here. I think you get six of everything. It's designed to be uh, the meat of a four by four foot infinity table. And um, uh, you really need to check out uh, City on a Hill, his video up on it. I think Nick's got a couple of videos up on the hex platforms. They're very cool. Check them out. There's lots of different ways you can utilize these, not only as decks, but as, as uh, generating hallways. Uh, and just, just tons of stuff. Very, very cool. Very, very well thought out. Very, very modularly functioned. Um, let's go on to scale. Oh! Okay, we're going out of order, but that's alright. Uh, this is all uh, Sir Lathan. What, uh, what he did for us. He created our own web store. It's uh, terrainaholic.com. Uh, this is kind of replacing my old website. He's done a, just a bang up job. He's gone through, he's, he's uh, fished out a bunch of old photos. He's put in stuff that other people have done. Pull it back down a little bit, baby girl. I'll take over, I'll take over. This is what Tim McCowan did with it. Uh, very, very cool. Um, he's got a link for Modest Magic, a link for Sir Lathan. Sir Lathan his, himself has his own store. We did a shout out to him uh, a little bit earlier. But you can shoot right over there. Check it out. Very cool. You can shoot directly over there. Check it out. Uh, super nice, nice guys. Um, and he's just done so much for us. Um... Let's move over to Scale Model Addict. Well, yeah. Oh, you want to do products? Okay. We'll show some of the stuff we have in our store. Yep. This is stuff that we've got in our store. We've got a, uh, a lot of the stuff mirrors, basically mirrors our eBay store. So, um, we're trying to get away from eBay. Uh, 
as are most people for obvious reasons. Uh, I think their nickname is Phoebe, but there's some jungles, deserts. That one, I, I've sold so many bloody pools, it's not even funny. But just, there's a ton of stuff here. Check it out. Um, I'm sure you'll like it. Um, and uh, I want to get on to my buddy, Scott. Is Oh, Scale Model Addict is right here. This is a very, very short intro, so I'm going to just let Scott explain what he's doing. It's very cool. It's just 45 seconds. Check it out. Scale Model Attic Magazine. That's right, a magazine. Technique, tutorials, and talent. Scale Model Attic Magazine is edited by Ken Abrams. Issue 1 features Rick Lawler's Burden of Sorrow, Ian Hamilton, Chris Spaulding, Jose Ruiz, and many more. Available in print and digital formats. Loaded with columns to develop your skills and inspire. Stay tuned for more updates online in the coming weeks. Okay, and this we is... We appreciate your support. Oh. Be sure to share this video on YouTube, like it and share it on Facebook, and tweet about us. Thanks. So that is Scale Model Addict. Also, um, I want to point out some stuff about Scott that you might not know. Uh, Scott is uh, one of the most noble people... Uh, I've met. He's done like in the past. Some of his uh, uh, one of his competitions was for like drilling uh, wells in Africa. I mean, just I mean, just a saint. Just one of the nicest guys you ever want to meet. Um, uh, Scott has done uh, a lot to help uh, uh, us uh, war gamers really bring our, our, our game up a notch. Uh, I believe I found him out through Chung. I could be wrong. Chung uh, from uh, WG Consortium um, does a lot of uh, like Warhammer and uh, fantasy type stuff. And I know that, that uh, those two together have really helped a lot of us gamers really up our painting skills. Uh, so definitely check them out. Um, if you want to get the most out of your models, like vehicles and stuff, you cannot go wrong looking at scale model guys. I'm talking about all of them. Model Man Tom, it, it, the list goes on and on. Just get familiar with that community and the leaders in that community and your painting skills and modeling skills will go through the flipping roof. Trust me on that. Um, uh, the last, uh, this is, I actually just have one a uh, quick question because I thought it was going to be easy and when you can't find stuff it's easier to go to the community. I've been looking around trying to find uh, arms for my uh, for well bow arms for my Zulu warriors and I've uh, looked up like uh, 20 millimeter uh, Ethiopian historical um, African uh, and just every word I can possibly think of to try and find either bits that I can put on my Zulus, uh, bow arm bits, or uh, trying to find actual like African bowmen. And I know they've got to have 28 millimeter African bowmen out there somewhere. I just want to find some so I can uh, I can flesh that out and uh, and get that going. I haven't really wanted to. This is an army I actually want to assemble and paint myself, and I I never wanted to do that usually. So um, if somebody yeah out there could uh, hook me up with either uh, even like American Indian, I just need where the arms are bare because uh, all the arms I'm finding has armor or clothing on it, and obviously that wouldn't quite look right with the Zulus. So um, that's what's going on here. Um, I'm sorry I'm doing this in kind of a shotgun blast, but I was getting kind of uh, depressed getting behind the eight ball, so I'm just trying to get this all out, get everybody taken care of, and um, I want to do some more tutorials. It was a lot of fun doing uh, that particular piece last night, and it's given me ideas to do other things uh, along those lines, 
and uh, I want to uh, put some more how-to's out there because um, I, I love them and I think a lot of you guys love them too. But uh, thanks for watching. Check all these people out. We'll have links down in the description. And um, have a fantastic weekend. I'm going to be coming up on my five days off and you're going to see a ton of terrain uh, getting, getting built out over that time period. So love you guys. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.